Hey, today we're going to learn about using a WordPress blog with our Show It website. So if you have a Show It website like I do, um, and maybe you're thinking about adding a blog so that way you can start sharing some content with your audience, um, you can do that by basically upgrading your Show It subscription to either a basic blog or an advanced blog subscription. So both of those subscriptions will allow you to have a WordPress blog and basically it goes hand in hand with show it so there are a lot of questions around this and a lot of confusion and kind of wonder about what it's actually like to have these two platforms interact in order to bring you that powerful WordPress blog that everyone loves so much right so let's jump right into it so I'm going to use my website as an example because I have it linked up to a, my, a WordPress blog and I want to show you kind of behind the scenes of how these two things work together. So right now we're actually looking at my website and if you go ahead and click on the blog page you'll see that I have one kind of large featured um, post here at the top and then as you scroll through the blog page you'll see um, some additional posts and a few more load in at the bottom as well and you can click this little button here to browse older posts and so forth and so on but right now I want to explain to you how you can publish a blog post and have it feed directly into your show it website so first I want to just hop in behind the scenes of my show it website and show you the blog page. So this is the blog template and the way it's set up is that I have a featured post here and then like we saw earlier, additional posts will fill in as um, they're published. So right now this area for this featured post is utilizing a post title, so whatever you want to name your blog post that title will fill in automatically here when you publish it this is actually a post excerpt so it's just going to show a little snippet of what that blog post is about this will actually pull from your featured image so the featured image is not the images inside of your blog post this is something a little different so i'm going to show that to you when we hop over to wordpress and then this is a button that will just allow um, users to click it and hop over straight to that blog post. And then these are just some other little uh, blog posts down here with just the title, um, the excerpt, and then that read more button. So all of this text is just dummy text basically because this is all going to fill in and change whenever I publish a blog post. So let's hop into WordPress and I'm going to show you my exact steps to creating and publishing a blog post in WordPress and then seeing it automatically feed into your show it website. So if everything is set up properly, your blog post will automatically populate into your show it website. There's nothing else that you should do or nothing else that you should have to do once you hit publish on that blog post. So this is actually inside of my um, WordPress dashboard. And typically to create a new post, you'll want to go to post and add new. But I'm actually going to edit and publish one that I already have a draft of. But real quick note here, before you create and edit any blog post, what you'll wanna do is make sure that you have some categories set up. So I have quite a few categories that I've set up over the years um, that you can see most of my posts are here in business resources or um, website tips and tutorials. But I've had some other um, categories that I've utilized. Some of them I don't really use anymore. But what you want to do is go ahead and add um, these categories. So maybe you just have two or three, maybe you have five or six. But I would recommend starting off with at least one or two categories. So to create a category, you can just um, type in the name here and then hit add new category and you'll see there it is. So once you have your blog category set up, you'll want to add a new post. And just pretend like, okay, I'll just show you. If you click add new, this is what the editor comes up like. It's just a blank editor where it's like waiting for you basically to fill in the blanks. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab one that I was already working on. Um, so that way we don't have to kind of create everything from scratch. So you can see, 
Um, the title is How to Communicate on a VIP Day. This is an image within the post. This is my text and content, and then I have a few call to action buttons at the bottom. So what I need to make sure of is that this post is ca A, categorized correctly, and B, has a featured image, because when it pulls in to show it, we want an image to go along with this post. So on the right hand side of this blog post, you can see that um, I have a category it's already assigned to, because I already did that, but you can now see that new category we just added in, sample category. And if you want to go ahead and assign a post to multiple blog categories, you can do that. And then it'll have a drop down for you to select that primary one. So maybe I have it in these three categories, but the primary category for this post is business. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck those. Now this is a super important step, this featured image. So like I mentioned before, this, uh, this image is separate from any images inside of your blog post. So if you go ahead and replace or update this image here, it will not update or change this featured image. You have to set this separately. But basically all you need to do is um, there'll be like a little upload button and you can just go ahead and hit that and you can grab an image from your media library or you can upload a new file. And once you do that, you'll just hit um, set featured image. And then that looks really good. So I'm using um, <clears throat> some um, SEO tools. I'm using Rank Math and Yoast. I kind of go back and forth to see, I'm kind of testing right now to see which one I prefer, but I think I'm gonna go with Rank Math. So if you have one of those plugins installed, what you'll wanna do is finish optimizing the post and then you'll hit publish. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish on this post, and then we will take a look at the live version on the blog. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just um, view, well, <laughs> view the post, and hopefully everything will have fed into the correct spot. So there you go. This is that featured image, and there's like a little bit of it back here. That's just the design. And you can see this is the uh, post title and then the post excerpt and then um, the button to click into and read the post. So here's the post. And as you can see, everything looks good. So that is how you add blog posts to your Show It website without having to do anything manually. You basically just hit publish and it will feed into the um, Show It website as long as everything is set up correctly. So if you are purchasing a website template uh, for my shop or from another Show It marketplace, or if you're working with a web designer who's building or designing your show at website, you want to make sure that everything's set up properly for that blog to work. There are some extra steps that need to be taken when you are um, blogging and using show it. So just make sure that you're aware of that. Um, like I said, if you purchased a website template, you'll probably get some video or written instructions on how to make sure it's set up. And if you're working with a designer, they should be very familiar with how all of the blogging works. So I hope this helps clear a couple questions up that you may have had about blogging with Show It. And as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I would love to help you. Talk to you soon. Bye.